morning everyone. Well today we're pretty excited. Um, as you guys have probably guessed, we love animals. So, well Davis, Davis is the major animal lover in the house. He adores animals. Luke's okay with them. He's kind of like, he, it's a, he'll embrace them if they're there, but he doesn't go seeking them out. Now Davis will. But anyway, today our homeschool group is going to be going to a local, well, kind of local. It's an hour away, but it's a working llama farm. And as you guys know, a couple of weeks ago, we did take the boys out to the uh, Lazy Five Ranch and we were able to drive through that particular farm thing. So they were able to feed the animals and the llamas were amazing and they fell in love with the llamas. Davis did. Now Luke doesn't much, he, he doesn't like them invading his space. He, he likes that three feet of personal space that you don't really get with llamas. But anyway, so today we're going to be heading out to LJ, Georgia to, and I think it's Pearson's Pond. It's a llama farm. And we are going to let the boys uh, check it out. They're going to show them where their, their medical area, where the babies are born, and where they take care of the sick, the sick llamas. And um, I think they're going to get to interact with the llamas and check them out. And the lady is supposed to... Um, tell them more about the llamas. So we are really excited about that and we're getting ready to leave here in a few because Llama farm time now. Yay. It's beautiful up in here. Now we are, I'm not sure if you can see Davis Yay. waving out the window at the llamas, but we're at the llama farm now and we're really excited about this. And they've got it lined up too so the kids can get in there. They have some babies and all of that. So they're going to be able to see all the babies and things like that. And this Hello. place is absolutely gorgeous. Um, Hello. Wasn't sure where we were at at first if we were going the right way. Hello, the GPS got us so far and completely gets lost on these gravel back roads. But we made it. Hello. They're all listening to Davis speak to them because I hey. guess they know that he doesn't belong here. He is a stranger the, to their, look at the their area. Kiana, I know you're not here with us, but you would love it here, Mommy. wouldn't she, Davis? Yeah. Watch him look. Aww. Hello. Aww. Yeah, watch it. It's speaking to you. Yeah. There you go. There. Look, you want to feel? Here. Filler. Oh, my competitor. Would you like? You want to? He says, "Let me smell you." <laughs> yep. No, you smell bad. He says. He says. <laughs> Thank you. Her stand right there. She's this check. You there. He says, "Hmm. You disturbed my lunch. Let me check you out a little bit. Keep your hands down, Lanky. Okay, so you don't make it scared." You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> oh, you don't smell very good, she says. Mm. Take care. Mm. Isn't it sweet? She's trying to look in behind me. I don't know what she's looking at. Maybe my camera there. Hold on. This is the eating station. I, I promise you, they have no intention on hurting anyone. Put your hand down. Oh, she's Mommy, checking you out, isn't she? It's got something on its head. <laughs> Probably spit. It looks like mama spit. Hello. Here, behind your back. Behind your back, Lukey. I'm trying to put his hands behind his back, and she might come up there with him. Eggs out. You, know, you, gotta, you know how to do it carefully. Go on down there with Davis. I think he's found some. The eggs. Luke, let Davis hold the bucket. Davis hold the bucket. There you go. Hold it good. Tell them just to find eggs and put them in the bucket. Luke, watch your head. That one is so pretty. That black and white one there. Look at that big one. I 
get him. Now I know she'd fly on my head for it. Look, they're looking for the bread. She says, give me some of that bread. <laughs> she loves it. Sometimes I want to like to, to eat too much. It scares me. Very good. Very good. I'll wait till everyone comes in before I open the door. This is their, this is their, oh, it's their llama spa, huh? Well, they're like you llamas. We had fun at the llama farm, didn't we, Davis? Mm -hmm. And now, why not stop and get some fried pies from one of the best apple orchards in our area. Their pies are so amazing. And we're never really here, so we thought we'd, do you smell it already? Yeah. Smell? Do you, does everyone smell this? Right? Davis, there's a sign there. Are you excited? This is all in the I know. The key, come through the week when apple season's over. In November. Not in October, because then your line's back there. These are the delicious fried pies that Davis could smell that made him run into the uh, pole at the orchard. We ended up getting a pineapple, a chocolate, three peaches, two cherries, and four, six apples. So that's what we ended up getting there. We've never tried the pineapple or the chocolate before, but so we got those, just wanted those each to try. Their peaches are really good. We made it back and it was such an amazing experience. It really was. The the owner's name was Tracy and she was just absolutely amazing. She was so nice and sweet and very informative. I mean, just all around a wonderful experience. Um, some of her work hands were there and they were awesome. They made the children feel welcome and were there to answer any questions and to just show them everything. So it was a wonderful experience. Um, I'm pretty sure that Davis would have stayed the whole day there if given the opportunity. Um, Luke would have stayed in the chickens the whole day if given the opportunity. And as you'll see, I'm gonna ask him just a, a couple of questions here in just a minute about it, but um, they loved it. They really did, and um, you know, uh, they're gonna write, they loved it so much that they are gonna write her a thank you letter, and we're gonna mail that because of the time that she spent with them, with all the kids in our homeschool group, um, to show, showing them, you know, the different ways and what's involved in raising llamas. And so, all in all, it was a wonderful experience. If you ever, ever have a chance to go to a working llama farm, do, because those animals are amazing. Now, Davis, so much, I should say, so much so amazing that Davis is now asking for a llama. Clearly, we don't have anywhere to put a pet llama, um, because there's a lot of work in, when it comes to llamas as well, but um, yes, we now have a child asking for llamas. So, anyway, I am going to let you guys hear what the boys have to say about it. Hey, Luke. You're in the hot seat. It's not hot. What? It's not hot? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. It was hot when well, driving outside. What do you what did you think about the llama farm? Good. Yeah, what did you what was some of the things that you learned? What are some things that you can tell me about the llamas? They don't spit. They don't spit. That's what she said, right? Yeah. Rock in the chair. Yeah, she says they only spit what when they feel threatened. Mm -hmm. But it's very rare for them to spit. And what else did she tell you to always remember about big animals? Don't touch the back, the back. Right, because what happens if you touch their backs? If they touch the back of the head, it might happen. It might kick you? Yeah. If you touch their butts? No, the back of the head. No. In no. Uh-uh. The it's their butts. Oh, and the back legs. Yeah, their back legs, yeah. Why would it be the back legs? Because they, they can't the see you. Why are they Why are they in the back, in the back of the head of the neck? They didn't even see if they it was the back. This is true. What was your favorite part? Um, my favorite, my favorite part? Yeah, the whole thing. Uh, the, uh, the llama form yesterday. What was your favorite part? I, I like the chickens and the ducks. You like the chickens and the ducks the best? What do you think about those guineas that are screaming? Wow. They were loud, weren't they? The guineas? Yeah, the, the, they, they look like ducks. 
Do. No, not really. They don't really look like a chicken either. Um, is there anything else you would like to share? Yeah. What? The why well, ducks and chicken coop? Because the ducks and chickens get along. And that's also when we are taking out more chickens. Mm -hmm. I mean ducks. That we are sitting on top of post pooping everywhere. Those were peacocks. Oh. Yeah, those were peacocks. They were up high. They weren't coming down. I wish they would have came down. They're peacocks beautiful. are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you liked it? Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll study some more about them. Okay, she taught you a lot though, didn't she? Mm-hmm. And how they, she's got a room that she takes care of them in. Doesn't she? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, Davis. Tell me the shower. Um, Tell me about it. What did you learn yesterday? Believe, should I believe this? Um, the non-alpacas, the llamas, um, are used more than alpacas. Because alpacas are just used for their meat and their wool and llamas are used for their meat wool and hard work right they're work they're work animals aren't they mm -hmm. what what did she tell you about their if, if if one were to kick you would it hurt probably or not so much because mm -hmm. yeah. their 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 hooves are like hands mm -hmm. they don't have hooves though they have pads, like... They have, like, hands. They also have fingernails. They have one fingernail. Yeah. One big fingernail. They have two big fingernails. What was your favorite part? The llamas. The style of the llamas? Yeah. Any favorite llama? Yeah. Which one? One black one at the start. The black one at the start? The one that looked at you with the picture? Mm-hmm. I liked him the best. I didn't believe this. Shower. Show Anything else you would like to share? I have one. Yes. What? Our day. Have one. Have one. Day. You are sharing your day. Uh, I know. I just really wanted to say that. Okay. Uh, no, not really. No. Have it. What did Luke have to share? Chickens. He likes the chickens. Chickens and the ducks. They look like the chickens and the ducks. And you know, I'm very proud of you guys. You guys behave very well. You put them 